Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for visiting me today. So guys, basically in this video, I'm going to uh, take you through several uh, topics that we're going to cover in this series of training. We have a plan of, uh, of uh, doing a recap on all the CCNA technologies or topics or rather protocols that are majorly used in enterprise networking projects so in every enterprise networking project we have to involve all these technologies so this is a series of training that is going to, that is meant to take us through and make us well versed and bring that kind of skill that can make us configure any problem concerning enterprise networking technologies so as you can see, I've made a very, very interesting table here. On my left here, you can see basic configuration. So in every uh, networking project that you're going to do, you have to involve basic configuration. For example, hostname, banner messages, um, line console password, line virtual password, etc., uh, etc. Et so if you go to searching, you know, we have a lot of uh, technologies that are mandatory or even uh, prerequisite when you're going to configure any enterprise of the project. For example, VLANs, VTP, um, uh, the concept of allowed or denied VLANs, I have a native VLAN, uh, the remote access, either channel, etc. etc. Then we go to routing. We have a lot of topics here. As you can see, a lot of them until 24 under routing because you know routing is very very wide so we have a lot of topics here when we come to VLAN and uh, VoIP technologies we have a lot of uh, topics here that we need to get well versed with okay you have to understand how to configure each of these technologies so that you can build uh, any enterprise and run a project then we, when you go to security part of it we're going to use Cisco uh, as ASA file and these are some, some of the uh, parameters that we're going to fig configure on this file. So guys, for you to understand how to develop or design and implement this kind of uh, networking technologies, you see this one? For you to understand how to implement these guys, you have to f you have first to understand all of these technologies, which are very, very simple. In this series of training, we're going to highlight and explain them in a simpler language that even a baby will understand. So, for you to implement even this topology here, this kind of a secure topology here, you have to understand the technologies that I've just highlighted, which are very, very important. You know, you cannot avoid them in any enterprise networking project. Even on this topology here, almost all of these technologies, all of these protocols, have been implemented okay even on what we've been doing on youtube i have uploaded almost uh, 10 enterprise networking projects and all of these technologies have been implemented almost all of these technologies so guys it's a very very important thing that you understand the basic of something first before you implement it you understand the foundation of something okay how they can relate, how they can integrate, how it's implemented, how it interacts before you put it together. Because we have a lot of technologies here that we normally put together. And you know, guys, you have to understand how something stands alone first. Okay? Then you understand how it integrates with another. Okay? But you know, in enterprise and development project, what we'll be doing on YouTube, we explain how it stands with one another. So in this series of uh, video, guys, we are going to understand. We are going to understand, explain, and make you understand how something can stand alone. Then, when you come to enterprise and running projects, how it can can integrate with one another. So it's very very important, guys, to understand the basic of something first, the foundation of every technology, technology I mean, or the protocol, before you understand how the protocol is implemented in, in, in any real world network topology. So for example, just for an example, 
I've been implementing several uh, networking topologies and posting them on YouTube. And as you can you know guys, you normally follow me, implement the same topology and maybe submit your lecturers and so on and so forth. But what happens when you understand how or what brings, I mean, what is put together to bring that whole big topology? Meaning, you will start defining your own topology, maybe a similar one or a much different one because you understand everything, you understand how everything works, but not you design a similar topology and present to your teacher. Just imagine 10,000 students in the world are checking on my YouTube right now at the same time. They design a similar topology and present to the same uh, uh, professor. Guys, you are you you are you are you are um, project will be marked as copied okay so it's very very important guys to understand all of this topology such that if we implement a network uh, an enterprise networking project guys you can know how to uh, rephrase or paraphrase it into your own words or know what to add or what to remove when you're designing your own enterprise network topology but not designing the same enterprise topology and presenting to your uh, professor it's a bad idea so that's why i want everyone i want everyone to understand all of these technologies from number one uh, on basic configuration to number 17 then from number one on switching technologies to 17 then from number one also from routing technologies to 24 etc etc so I would like uh, each and every one of us to understand all of this concept so that you can be able to design your enterprise network project. So whenever you encounter any project, project or a problem relating to enterprise network project, you know that this protocol is a must and you know how to configure it, you know how to integrate it with other protocols, you know how to troubleshoot it, you know how to manage it, and you know how to implement it. Guys, it's a very, very interesting class that is going to build your skills into another level. Consider this training is meant for beginners. If you are a professional, guys, this is a good place for you also, because you're going to have skills on what you never knew about. So guys, stay tuned, subscribe to our channel, so that you can understand how to configure your own enterprise networking project without involving a freelancer guys this is a very very important series of training that you cannot miss okay so i welcome you all to this series of training i'm going to start uploading videos soon from introduction i mean from basic configuration to ipv6 for firewall we are going to understand all these te technologies and each technology should take eight minutes you know eight minute video is not cumbersome you can watch it for only eight minutes understand or rewatch it again and understand better so guys stay tuned kindly subscribe to our channel like our video and share with other students across the world so that they can also benefit from this list of training thank you so much and let's meet uh, when we're going to start basic configuration bye